Hey, how we doing today? Kind of hot still. Well, I'm advancing just a little bit more in the video so I can show you exactly how I do my queens. I took the queen out of this box here, or I took the queen out of this box here and I put all the brood here. I put the queen back in there, left her two, three frames, and you can see how she's doing pretty good. Okay, this is the box we're going to get into today. We're going to see how many queens we have. Um, how many queen cells? It's been 11 days. 11 days is a little late for me. I like to get into them about 8 or 9 days. Uh, just been busy. So let's break this down and see what we can do. I've got some extra boxes here. Right here I have some extra box. And I have a queen castle over there, which I will show you. The queen castle is... Got four separate lids. And it's got four sections. One, two, three, four that I custom made. It has four entrances. One for every section. Going four different directions. Uh, make sure you have enough vent holes in every section. Plenty of ventilation is what you need. I'm going to put this back over here in case we need it. Alright, let's, let's get in it and see. I didn't even light my smoker. So, let's see uh, how they're going to be today. I put two partial lids on here, two nook lids, because I didn't have a, a, uh, a high body super uh, lid handy. I got one today, though. So let's see. Let's take a look. Always look for a queen, even if you're raising queens. A young queen, she'll be walking around, and that's what we're looking for. Uh, looking for queen cells, see if they've hatched. If they hatch, you got to find her walking around. A lot of bees in this box. A lot of bees, and if there's a queen walking around, we got to find her. They seem pretty good nature today. This was just some extra honey I put in here to, so they didn't have to worry about food. Let me get a spare box, put them in. Got a spare box here, spare box here. We're going to put these extra bees and food in a frame and I'm going to set them right here. Just to get them out of the way. Uh, there won't be no robbing. I'll be in and out of these boxes pretty quick. So I don't have to worry about no robbing. This time of year, robbing, yeah. So now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm looking for queen cells. And here you go. First frame out. There's a dry, dry peanut right here. Nothing in it. You got one. Ah, got a queen cell right here. Looks like she's hatched. So now I'm gonna have fun looking for the hatched queen that might have come out. Um, uh, by looking at it, I'll have to say she is hatched out, but we still have one, two, three, four, five, six. This one didn't make it. That one may not have made it, but we're gonna we're gonna see what we can find six 
queen cells just on this one one frame and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in that extra box now when a queen hatches if you get in here early enough they they can't organize they don't have time enough to organize let me let me see if I can get you a little closer Ah, that's a little better. A little bit better. Alrighty. So when a queen hatches in something like this, she'll be walking around. That's what you want to do. You want to find her. First you want to see if one's hatch. If they have, you've got to find her. If you don't, that will give that young queen long enough time to get organized to gather bees for her clan, her hive, and, and she'll probably want to swarm. So that's what you're wanting to do, is you get in here and find her. If she's walking around, I'll show you what to do with her. Okay. That's the second frame. We got one. Two, three, three queen cells just on this one side. Okay, so you got four, five. This one here, uh, she might have hatched out, but it kind of looks like it got gnawed out. She, the queen may not have made it. And this one here looks like she may not have made it. There was nothing in there. So that one's a dud. You can tell by looking at it. Um, so you got one, two, three, four, three on the other side. So that's seven queen cells. Um, there may be two or three, maybe more duds, but we'll keep going. That's seven. Seven plus six. Thirteen queen cells on the first two frames. Still looking for a queen walking around. If she is, it's going to be a virgin queen. Put this in that extra box right here. And I know y'all are wondering. I took everything out of the first hive. And I left the queen there. And I put everything else here. And you're wondering why these bees don't go back to that box. Because 99% of these bees are either unborn or nurse bees. Um, they, this box has been here 11 days. So they have organized a little bit on, on foraging bees, worker bees, uh, uh, field bees. So these field bees will come back to this box. You know, that one like to sting me on the forehead. Um... So they won't go back to that second box. Uh, they still trying to tag me now. Now that I, I cranked them up a little bit with that one. So anyways, let's keep going. Nothing but food. A lot of food. And I see a peanut or two, but there's nothing in it. You can just wipe them off. Nothing on this one but food. Put that one in the spare box. Now, I don't see a young queen walking around, but a lot of food. Remember, you got to give them enough food to survive until you get done with what you're doing. Just an extra frame I put in there because bees want something to do. They always want something to do. They don't want to be sitting around, hanging around, getting hot, doing absolutely nothing. 
They want something to do. I'm gonna put this in the extra box. I'm gonna take this first box off. You can see they had a little entrance on the back side. So now all I'm doing is looking around. Uh, just to see if I see a young queen walking around trying to gather up her new group of bees. And I don't see one here. You can you can pretty well spot her pretty fast if she is doing that. She won't sit around in one spot too long because she's walking around trying to spread her scent around. So I don't see her. I'm going to put this right here. All right. I see a couple of beetles, and they like to hang out right in the very back. They don't like to hang out by the entrance. The entrance is here. The back is here. They don't like light, so they're going to go up to the top and to the very back. Um, the only sure way I know of killing beetles, and that's with your thumb, and that's what I'm doing. Now let's go with the first frame out of the box on the bottom, which I never went in this box. All I did is I found the queen, boom, I put that top one box over here never messed with it never went in it so what do we got a total of 13 queen cells maybe a couple of duds maybe not just hunting for a queen because you don't never know when one's hatched, especially at 11 days. 11 days is pushing it. I do not see one. So I'm going to put this in the spare box. Put your fingers right there if there's a lot of bees. Lightly touch them, they'll move. I don't see any more queen cells, but I also I don't see any more queens cells. Remember, use your tool and just barely touch them. Just touch them. They'll, they will move if you want to look around. I'm also looking for a queen, a newly hatched queen, at the same time as I'm looking for queen cells. I do not see one. Put it in a spare box. What do I see? I see a queen cell. Looks like she's been gnawed out. Like I said, 11 days is pushing it. 8, 9 days is preferable. Depends on the temperature of what you are working in. The hotter it is, the faster they will hatch. Let's see. Right here. You can see that it might have been a dud. But it looks like it got chewed up, cleaned out by the worker bees, nurse bees. Uh, let's keep going.
stick it in our spare box. If you know how to graph, that's awesome. You still got to have a, you still have to have a place to put those queen cells that you're grafting to. This way here, I have created that place. Um, when a virgin queen hatches, she's already got bees on her side. They will accept her, and I will show you what to do with them. I do not see queen walking around. No more queen cells there. So we still got a total of 13 closed cap queen cells. Nothing. Nothing on that side. Nothing on this side. Nothing. Nothing. Since I never looked at this one particular box when I moved it from the mother hive, I, I was just assuming there was some young larvae in there for them to make queen cells from. And what it looks like, it may have only been those two frames. That's why we got 13 queen cells on two frames. Nothing. Nothing. A little bit of food. A little bit of food. All right, that's it. That is all the queen cells we are going to get out of this box. But this is one way of managing your hives. If you got a good box, uh, you uh, want to thin it down, you can do just what I did. Just take everything off of it. Give her three, four, two, whatever frames you want to leave her. That's got a little bit of brood on there because all the worker bees are going to stay with that box. When you move a box here, if there's any worker bees, that the older worker bees will actually go back to that box. This one, these, this new box here, will create its own worker bees, and they will stay with this box and this location. So I didn't see. A, a queen cell that actually hatched it kind of, they kind of look like they've been gnawed out maybe it died and the uh, nurse bees or whatever and they they went and cleaned out that cell which is fine so let me go back and we'll find uh, those two frames that had queen cells on them and I will split those up yeah believe it or not I'm gonna split those up in front of this box so that, that, that's a good way of, if you don't have a second yard, you can take these and, and just 
keep going forward. I could I could put them next to them if I want to. I'd put them behind them if I want to, and so on and so on. Uh, once you start running out of brood that hasn't hatched yet, then you may have an issue of bees wanting to go back to uh, where you moved them from. So that's the purpose of doing what we're doing here. Is you still got a lot of bees hatching, so they will stay with this box and they will get older and be new forage bees for that new box and location. Okay, I found me a frame. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all, fill this back up with 10 frames of bees. No queen cells. I'm gonna take this one frame that has the six, six closed up cap queen cells. Uh, and I'm gonna put it by itself in a box over here, which you can see right here. 